<laughs> we got a guy on top, on top of the Defender. <laughs> That's some dedication right there. But it's gonna be a hell of a shot. <laughs> oh, he's surfing the Defender. What? <laughs> Good morning. It's the uh, next chapter on the snow tour. Now I'm not sure if you followed my gumball excursion of uh, 2016 when we lost the key to the Batmobile. That actually happened. Well today, what road trip wouldn't be complete without losing another key and uh, the car being self-locking. So our Land Rover Defender support car um, has gone and locked its own key inside itself while the ignition is on. Yeah. <laughs> so. Good start to the morning. Uh, it'll be too late by the time this video's out, but if anyone out there happens to know how to get into a Land Rover without a key, comments below just in case it happens again. Well, what's happening is bad news. Look at him trying to get in the car. We're gonna have to break window the window. Slide. No, we're not breaking yeah, the window. Yeah. Oh man, if you crack a window, you're gonna be chilly for the rest of the tour. Yeah, so that sucks. That's not an option. Every single door? Yeah. Everything's locked. News the yellow back here. And it's on. The engine's running. We're also parked right outside the hotel. <laughs> Here's Eddie feeling fresh. There you go. All right, so while we're stuck here waiting for uh, this situation to get sorted out, might as well go. I did say that I would introduce you to some of the people on this tour. I think now is a prime opportunity while everyone's kind of hanging around doing nothing. So, I'm Oscar Bakke. I'm the photographer on here, as with, with many other photographers. For sure. So Oscar and I, we've been road tripping on Gumball and the like for many a year now. Yeah, eight years maybe? About eight years. I've yeah. seen it for, uh, yeah. For sure, yeah. I'm gonna put a link to Oscar's Instagram below, because this guy is like us. When he presses the truth, some magic seems to come through the lens. So you gotta check this guy out. So Oscar's been snapping for the last three days. What are you, what are you hoping for? Today, we've got some sunlight. Ooh, we, we got the most scenic view of yeah. probably this rally. I've driven this road a couple of times yeah. and it's amazing. Fjords, waterfalls, all of it. Perfect. All right, I love it. See you on the road. Take care. Andreas, uh, and I'm one of the locals here from Norway. Local driver, and you're in the, the satin black GT3. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm handling that, uh, the GT3 by day and uh, the bar with Tommy at night. Barman yeah. and carman all at the same time. Yeah, I think it's uh, the, at least one of the most sketchy with the European winter tires and, yeah. back, and rear wheel stuff. drive and yeah. And you've recently had it wrapped? It's uh, originally red and yeah. it's now it's satin black. So, black. So, it looks so, yeah. Yeah. so keep a look out on future content. There's going to be loads more footage of this guy's car. Let's hit it. Big Vapper. T. T doesn't say much. <laughs> We call him Big Vapper because he's vaping 24/7. Smoke signal. He communicates in smoke signals, uh, and he's driving the uh, the E30 M3, predominantly sideways. Okay, round two. We're through again. Extended hook. Oh, they're gonna try and lift it up. It's it's not um. It's got like a soft edge. Oh yeah. come on, man! It's like the most painful arcade game in the world. Shit, yeah. I think it's yeah. Oh, come on! Does that, how do you open the rear windows? I don't know. Roll them. Do you roll them? Yeah. Yes! There is a little. A, there is oh. a little ledge. There's a small enough ledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Oh. He's reckon, in there. I reckon the, I don't uh, think that's going to have the. Gentleman here came down with all the all the right tools, took the door off the hinges, and now we're finally inside. But we've lost some of the bolts that fix the door back on. So uh, yeah, problem after problem. Here's what it is.
car. What does it feel like being back in George, man? I miss George. It's I mean, so there, good seeing you. There's so many good cars in the world, <laughs> and this uh, George never got to experience the snow, so now. And now it's been sideways. It's been sideways. On on the, on the ice and snow. Like a minute ago, there was some drifting, but on the tarmac over here, it's a little bit inconsistent, right? Yeah, but it's a good challenge. It it's makes cool. it harder. So you've done this road before, right? Yeah. Well, as we come more north, I've yeah. been a lot. This Are we one see only. Some snow soon? Yeah, oh, there's going to be a lot of fjords, a lot of mountains, and a okay, lot of epicness. Sweet, because what like we are on the hunt specifically for lots of right? snow drifting. So, yeah. so, so hopefully we can find some snow. I think after Bergen, yeah. going to Storfjell, there'll be a lot, there'll be enough snow. For All me. right, awesome, man. Right, so we're on the ferry now for what's this, like an hour's journey. Yeah, 45, 45, 45 minutes, and then we're going to hit the road for some scenic times. Let's do it. My God, it is so beautiful here. I really feel like we're in the real Norway now. This is the postcard stuff that you see. Wow, the waterfall. It's just like a cascade of crystals. It's phenomenal, the ice sculpture here. And now we have like this crisp, clean, pure air around us. It's absolutely stunning. And that for me is what road trips are all about. You know, when you fly to a destination, this is all of the beauty that you would normally miss out on. I truly believe that when you drive through a country, it's the best way of discovering the true heart, the culture, the beauty of the unknown. It's the areas that you would never normally discover if you just flew directly to where you wanted to go. For me, being on the road is the adventure. It's what it's all about. And discovering places like this, massive tick for the bucket list.
gonna go and head and call this as our last stop of the day before the sun sets. Evidently, we have found a resplendent environment on which to call this a day. We'll probably do a debrief at the hotel. I really don't care that I look like a shadow right now because the background is way more interesting than my face. But this is what it's all about. I've been saying earlier on to immerse yourself in the real, the real countries you drive through. It's the only way of doing it. Every time you drive through a country, you discover the true culture of a place, the true landscape, and it's amazing to be here with all these fantastic people. So here we are again. Um, this crowd's even bigger. We, are, we have arrived in Bergen. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Look at the crowd in front of us. I, this is like fully feel like I'm on Gumball right now. It's absolutely crazy. But basically what we've done is put out a few Instagram posts between everyone on this trip. It's getting mad. All right, welcome to Bergen. We are riding in on the side of the Maybach Lauderley. What other way is there to do it? If you're gonna do it, do it in style is what I say. Krill? What's up? How's your day been, baby? Dude, my it day's been, been cool. Been Crazy. You, you have been non-stop filming today with that camera. Yep, non-stop. So in terms of like reception, yep. this is this takes the win so far. Yes. Right? This is absolutely look at that. Look, yeah. at look at this, look, look at this, look at this. It just keeps on going on and on and on. Talk to me about the Lord Lay. What's it like to be in? We haven't been inside it yet. I'll try and take you guys inside. It's like a space capsule on wheels. Space capsule on wheels. It has its own scale. It's so big. It's absolutely colossal. Yeah. We're just waiting for the uh, GT3 RS to sort his life out. So, we're gonna go like check here. into the hotel. Uh, we've completely blocked the streets. Check it out. This is, uh, this was not part of Bergen's plan, but we turned up and shut it down. Sorry to the local council, but thank you to the local people. You have been wonderful. Let's check in and check it out. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.